It's Oshu Festival once again, and the whole world has converged in Oshubo, Western Nigeria. Also on our lineup, we'll bring you up close to a World Heritage Site in Lalibela, courtesy of Ethiopian Airlines. For two weeks, the Oshun Sacred Groove has taken an atmosphere of a carnival-like activity. There have been loads of drumming, mm -hmm. colors, mm -hmm. and lots of energy from everyone present. Behold, Behold the, the spectacle, spectacle of, of Osho Shobo from MTN Culture Fest Lenses. Every August, Oshun Shobo features prominently on the MTN Culture Fest calendar. Owing to its rich cultural relevance among the Oshobo people in southwest Nigeria. MTN have been trying as much as possible to connect with our subscribers wherever they are and trying as much as possible to connect with the heart and soul of our subscribers. And we believe that the Culture Fest is a platform for MTN to connect with our subscribers. What we are trying to, the message we are trying to communicate to our subscribers is that wherever they are, in Nigeria and beyond, we'll be connected to them and we are connected to everything that they are passionate about. The Africa number one ICT and telecom company, MTN, is a global brand and uh, partly Africa. So MTN will affiliate and promote and support anything that preserves African culture and heritage. Osho Shibu is an annual festival that celebrates Osho, the river goddess, associated with fertility, love, and wealth. I pray for my future, for what is going to happen to me today for good. I pray for progress. Pray for my life, my family, everybody. The Oshubu community had a pact with the Oshun deity, and that pact leads to what they do on every year as Oshun Oshubu festival. The age-long festival started when the aborigines of Oshubu, led by a great hunter called Ulutimei, entered a pact with Osho, a river goddess to worship and sacrifice annually in return for her protection against adversary and blessing in procreation. That pact has transcended generations as people have continuously abided by it through the annual celebration of Ocean Festival at the Ocean River. At the bank of the river stands a 75-acre sacred grove dedicated to the ocean goddess and other Yoruba deities. In the 1950s, Susan Wenger, an Austrian artist and ocean devotee, helped preserve the grove as a spiritual and artistic center, and in 2005, it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. She said she had a calling by Oshun that she should be living in the groove that Oshun had something, that Oshun, Oshun deity has a need for her here. Susan Wenger's contribution is celebrated annually with a sacred colloquium in her honor. This year's edition celebrated her 100 years posthumous birthday. When we did our night, Day. We said that we will still do 100, either in our presence or not. So we are fulfilling our promise that we will remember her for 100 years. Every year, MTN contributes immensely in publicity across media platforms to further leverage the festival to the world as a tourist attraction. Beyond that, we have a publicity moving on around, we have our people, our agents moving on around, 
and try to consensize the community as regards our proposition. Then also we have um, the media leveraging, trying as much as possible to bring, make sure that we put Oshoshobo on the map of the world. The moment the Hemp Center is supporting the Oshoshobo Festival, the fortune of the festival in terms of uh, leveraging and promotional activities, the MCN were able to deploy so many flying banners, roller banners. They made a lot of generic banners that talks about the Oshun Oshobo. This visibility has seen Oshun Oshobo transformed into an international celebration of cultural events, drawing in flux of cultural enthusiasts across the globe. We have these festivals in Brazil as well. Not only Oshun Festival, but Obatala Festival, Sango Festival, Eshu Festival. Uh, so when I came here, I wanted to participate in this festival so that I could see what happens here and compare to what happens in Brazil. It's a truly international festival. I would even think there's more than 11 countries represented in Oshoko right now. But I think there's even more Nigerians who need to come. I still know people in Lagos who have not been to Oshoko. So I think it's mostly the Nigerians that we need to bring here, not just in the festival, but to get to know their own heritage and the beautiful UNESCO World Heritage site that they have. Oshoshobo is a two week long festival with chronological events leading up to a grand finale, which involves the procession by Aruba, the votary virgin. With every passing sequence of event, MTN rolled out activities aimed at giving back to the people and positioning the brand as an integral part of the festival story. Oshon Shibu begins with the Iwopopo, spiritual cleansing of the town, performed behind the public glare. During that, that, that period, the Ataja, the Kabiesi, will move from the palace with his oloris. They will move to a designated point, you know, through a route uh, within the town. On this day, MTN brand ambassadors were at every strategic location, mobilizing people for the festival and enlightening them about MTN raffle draw, aimed at rewarding loyal customers. In Oshun Shubo, it's clear that these are people of integrity, these are people who share relationship you know, with the people. You can see there's no divide between the people and the festival, between the people and the leaders, you know, and that is what MTN stands for, and so that's part of um, where we, we share values. We've been moving outside Oshogbo just to tell people outside Oshogbo that there's something going on in Oshogbo that is Oshogbo Festival 2015. We've been to places like Ifon, Ede, Iwo, Ikiru, we've been to places like that. Another important event is the lighting of the 500 year old 16 point lamp which is as old as the festival. The Oshun deity, you know, appeared to Kabiesi, told Kabiesi that they should do what the spirit is doing. MTN celebrated the day with its new value-added offering, designed to provide more talk time for less for its subscribers. MTN also sponsored art exhibition which showcased exquisite artworks that depicted Oshobo people beyond their daily lives. The grand finale of Oshobo is a day set aside for the Aruba, the votary virgin, who leads the people on a procession to appease and worship the Oshun goddess at the river. The Oshun river is notable for its curative powers as people from far and near come to scoop its waters for its magical powers.
ti o ba ni inu meji o osun o gbadura re so iyen in lo je ki gbogbo eyan kan le fi o kan wa sibi lati wa ma gbadura prior to this day past arubas converged at the chamber of yeye osun osugbo the queen mother to prepare the reigning Aruba for the all important mission. Aruba she pataki. To realize that Aruba ko sosu. Like the sosu na ko sa Aruba. Aruba she pataki. You need to Aruba when you talk about Aruba. I feel like we Aruba so to realize that we Aruba na lo ma Aru osu. We no lo ma be lo bonkan e tu tu ti. I feel like she ni oju bo. Let it one stroke ninety two. Or do more color. Only move for the bar or do not move for the boss or so. Buy or so. One more bed with one more bed if I want one differ to one more and one more. Be made your be made one. It's if I buy money. Any time, but I'm a camera, 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 at the appointed time, Aruba emerges from the sanctuary of the king's palace, fully clad in traditional attire. On her head sits a calabash containing propitation materials. <laughs> As she bears the calabash leading to the river, she is seen as representative of the goddess, with people casting away all their problems and warding off bad luck in a visual spectacle of finger snapping. It is a memorable scene, propelling cultural enthusiasts to deploy their smartphones and share the moment on social media platforms with the aid of MTN mobile data bundles. Mm, I'm going to upload it on WhatsApp, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, I'm BBM for now. I'm on Truth or Clause. So I just want to say a shout out to MTN. The service everywhere you go, just like they are tapped everywhere you go. It's it's nice, it's okay, wherever you are, their network is okay, it's awesome. If it's browsing, good to go, if it's scrolling, they are good. Finally, I can't really wait to upload this moment I'm having here because my first time in Oshogo, my first time in this festival, I've always been watching it on TV, but here I'm here live. But basically on this one, most people have been on this platform because of the uploading. As you can see, people uploading their pictures as well. This is on Shogun Festival 2015. This is what people are doing. They are uploading their pictures to MTN iPods. Precept by precept, she is destined for the Oshun River, where the people's supplication to the goddess will be made. Once again, Oshun has accepted the people's sacrifices and prayers. They look forward to a better and prosperous year ahead. To mark the successful completion of the festival, NTN spiced up the happy atmosphere with musical concert and raffle draw. Oshobo people trooped to the venue in high expectations. Their expectations were met as MTN doled out great prizes, ranging from branded souvenirs to home appliances, bicycles and motorbikes. MTN also empowered over 20 indigent women with grants to launch a small-scale business aimed at creating sustainable means of livelihood. 
there are over 20 widows and um, and uh, unemployed youth that that, that that will start their you know small scale business at no uh, initial investment. MTN is going to take care of that. We are setting them up to be retailers. We are going to give them stock. That's product that they will sell, worth of a hundred thousand. We are going to give them parasol. We are going to set them up. We are going to keep them table, shares, set them up in their own mini shops. These women's joy knew no bound as they thanked MTN for impacting their lives. Okay, let's say MTN. Oh, my Lord, it's okay. One need Lord Leo. What do you call our Lord? What do you call our Lord? MTN. Allah, my Lord, let's say it's what you are. With the sponsorship of Onshushubu, MTN has once more demonstrated its unflinching commitment to preserving the rich heritage of the Nigerian people. I am sure you'd agree with me that Onshum Festival is an incredible festival to look forward to. I bet you don't want to miss the next edition. Yeah, so stay with us for more on this program.